Um, welcome back to another reaction. This is how it feels to suffer in SFM. Source filmmaker, don't you mean Team Fortress 2? Oh, whatever. So you like Halloween, huh? You like using the silly spells in Team Fortress 2? Well, um, so do I. Wait, but this has spells? Isn't Halloween supposed to be scary? Then what's with all this having a good time bullshit? Language. Listen, man, for your sake, I hope you don't do it. But if you really want a scary time, drop TF2 for a bit and visit its deranged cousin over in the software section. What about the software? Source filmmaker! Oh my god! Um, okay. Ow, my this ears. This haunts me in my dreams, and I know it's trying to kill me. But the amount of glitches I experienced while making how it feels to play engineer, I'm telling you, this shit's possessed. Gather round. Language. All. This Halloween, I have a frightful story for you. The story of the time I had to add the Wrangler to a source filmmaker scene. The what? My story starts with a prayer. Please, Valve, please update Source Filmmaker so that it doesn't use a 2008 version of TF2. Why do you curse me to manually animate things as simple as picking up engineer buildings and using the Wrangler? Ha uh ha. -huh. They only responded with Dota Dota Counter-Strike. I didn't understand. So onwards I pressed hmm. to manually it's animate like how Valve the Wrangler. Here's no man, but the number three model. scares them. This godforsaken laser! This laser has stolen so many hours of my life that I'll never get back! How, you ask? Listen to my tale of woe. I began by importing the laser, but alas! It was pink! That's not right. It needs to be red. So then I make it red. How to color it. Turns out that it's controlled by what I like to call Sore Spaghetti. But Sore first, Spaghetti? This is a I literally made pasta yesterday. A point in space and can be used to move and rotate objects. Particles usually have very simple control points. Medic's beam has two control points. One for where the beam starts and one for where it ends. However, the Wrangler laser has this third control point that controls its color? <laughs> and this is where the source spaghetti starts. This control point Stop making me X, hungry. Actually, I do need dinner after this, so red, green, and blue I have an excuse to get dinner while it's uploading. Positive 255, which necessitates the equation x times 2 minus 255, where ah, 255, the, value that you want. the max number for what? effects in Minecraft. That? That's because it makes no fucking sense! Even if you don't How get many it, times do you need it. to swear? However, no matter what I did with control point 2, the laser's color never changed! Well, I said, and? this isn't my first rodeo. Surely I can fix this in a jiffy. But how wrong I was. Firstly, I went into the particle editor to see if there was a color value in there. Eureka! There was! But no matter what you do to it and its surrounding values, nothing happens. Then I wondered, just a moment, the laser is pink. And when a texture is missing in source, the default replacement is pink and black. Maybe oh yeah. Particles texture is missing or broken. So I asked all throughout town if someone could please lend me their version of every file related to this laser. I imported them into my directory and it was still ah! pink. By it's then, like I how I spent forever trying to get add-ons in Minecraft. I decided that it's time to concede and verify the integrity of the game cache. Reinstall the whole program and deal with all the bugs that that causes. But even then it was still at this point, I couldn't help but think. Ha! All this wasted time being a perfectionist when I could just use a different laser. So I installed this custom laser from the workshop that is supposed to be a Star Wars blaster. It's <laughs> a model instead of a particle, so it took a while to customize it. It, it doesn't look great, but it works, right? Wrong! When no, the camera right. looks at the laser from certain angles, it just disappears! Then Man. I tried using this laser particle, and I don't even remember what happened with this one, but I assure you it didn't work! So, we're back to this laser. After brainstorming with other SFM villagers, uh -huh. I imported the laser into a different map and realized... It only takes so many swear words per Why video. Why blue on this map? And that's when it hit me. Every map has a different default point where things load in when they have no other point of reference. You can see here that Badwater's default point is somewhere below Red Team Spawn. It, it has no rhyme or reason. The Wrangler laser has been loading in and using the default point on the map for its control point 2 value. It's a different color on every map, but it doesn't change no matter what I do. So I figured, alright, hmm. 
My program is successfully reading the control point two value, but just not changing it. Alex, well, friend, what if you just use a different map? Take my SFM project, move control point two to make the laser red, and then send it back to me. He promptly sent me this in response. Oh, 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 oh. That's right. His computer okay. couldn't even handle the project, so he had to make a new project that was just the laser on Badwater, which I then had to import into my project, which is its own scary, unintuitive process. But finally, here we are. It works. Despite reinstalling the program, despite verifying the game's cache, despite replacing the particle files outright, my control point two is just irreversibly broken. Mm. My theory, there's a ghost in my machine. But hey, at least it worked eventually, right? Yep. That's not the only thing I had to do manually. Once a sentry gun is placed, it stops being a gameplay object and just becomes part of the scene. That means that I have to manually control its shooting, which means manually adding each individual muzzle flash. That's right, wow. I had to copy and paste like 50 sets of these muzzle flashes and then manually tell the program, this muzzle flash occurs one twentieth of a second later, and this muzzle flash occurs another twentieth of a second later, and this muzzle flash this occurs muzzle another. Okay, I get this the muzzle idea. Muzzle this is a painful muzzle thing muzzle to do. God, if I make Team Fortress 2 videos, that, um, it'll probably be like my Roblox videos where all I do is edit the sound, maybe cut out a thing or two. I do not want to have to get frustrated with stuff like this. be a simple process, but it isn't. The default Uber in SFM is broken for some reason and always flashes like it's about to end. So you have to go download some cube map fixes. Thank you so much, SFM community, and put those in the right directory. Looks good to me, but... What about the weapons? Yeah. The hats? Huh? That's right. You have to manually change every single model's material that you want to be overcharged. And For God's sake, what does this work. have to do with Halloween? Is this a time-consuming process? It's semi-permanent. Seems more like a painful thing than a scary themselves. thing. Scary? You have to be super careful or else you'll be asking yourself later on, why the hell is this pyro like half Ubered here? See these buildings? They're not actually in Source Filmmaker for some reason. They're like ghost buildings or something. Wow. I had to manually add replacement buildings myself. Nothing comes for granted in this program. But you want to get really scared this Halloween? Imagine rendering a scene you've slaved over for hours and it comes out like this. Oh. If you ever want to get into SFM, my friend, please remember the acronym ABAF. All beards are fucked. Something about Excuse the way me. These things are textured doesn't mix well with SFM. Usually there's a fix for these beards on the workshop, but I, I guess not enough people use the grizzled growth? Anyway, at complete random, the beard will become some crazy neon color. And you want to know something funny? It uses the same color as the Wrangler laser uses via the map's default point. Isn't that funny? No. <laughs> so what was my solution? Ha, huh, simple really. If I render out the glitched frames individually, one at a time, manually, the beard is fine. Sounds simple, if not time-consuming. Let's see how many I had to do. 462 individually rendered images just to fix this beard in one scene! Okay, how long exactly did you spend you on that, that video? Is based on the beard's position. I mean, I've spent Look a total of four days it's to make one camera, video. But green in this camera! <laughs> Eventually, my friend, I could go. take no more, and I just asked the guy who fixed the Allfather if he could fix the grizzled growth, which he did. The moral of this scary beard story is, please, don't be afraid to ask people for help. Huh. Oh, but friend, School I've scary stories shell. to spare. Look at this scene. Simple, right? Well, this is what it used to look like. These lights are Satan. They have caused an issue in every video. For the spy video, I spent a full 10 hour day trying to get rid of these lights that would bleed through all the walls. After oh. that day, I knew not to ever try anything with these demon possessed lights. But in this scene, I had to. I used a program to remove literally every light from the map, and you won't believe it! Wow. These lights are Satan! Eventually, a villager from the SFM Discord discovered that huh. you just have to type Ent underscore fire space env underscore light glow space kill in console. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? I'm 
I'm certain that it's like the Minecraft commands I do. It doesn't always make itself obvious. Execute Sometimes at E type small, equals like piglin. The time that this blood and decal's position didn't update when I funny played dash, the video funny forward, dash, funny dash, funny dash. Summon lightning underscore bolt underscore bolt. Fancy dash. Fancy dash, fancy dash, fancy dash. And then sometimes dash. when I render something, every other frame becomes a blue mess. Definitely wow. a ghost. And half the time I import a custom map, Source Filmmaker just breaks all its lighting. Classic okay, I get the stuff. idea. Source fixable, Filmmaker sucks. It's hard to use. The tutorial says, this is the hammer editor and it, it honestly terrifies me. I can't do anything with this. I can't say it makes me very hopeful. Of course, the program does make my life easier sometimes. Spline curves are pretty good at automating some animations, but other times they put the spirit of the devil into my characters. Add spline curves. That voice oh though. Oh my god, call the exorcist! Ah! Look at this sentry. I just wanted to go from this to this. A 180 degree turn. It's simple. But for some reason, the program thinks that the most efficient way to do this is a freaking backflip! Wow. Demon, get out of my sentry gun! Thankfully, the program has a built-in stress reliever. Whenever I find myself getting exhausted, I just move the character's pelvis to the beat of whatever music I'm listening to for endless entertainment. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Truly countless hours have gone into trying to fix every single little mistake and glitch in all of my videos, but since you've made it to the end of this video, I think I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. There's what? a mistake in the engineer video, and it will probably ruin your entire perception of it. In this scene where I build a mini sentry on this scout, I don't have the gunslinger equipped in the SFM animation! Ah! Was I supposed to notice that? Hey, it's me. I have a t-shirt now. You can find a link to it in the description. I also now have a secondary channel, so... Well, okay, I get it. Source Filmmaker sucks, except, um, I don't see how it's scary. Uh, that definitely teaches me another th another thing about Team Fortress 2. I want to learn about Team Fortress 1. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and, um, bye now.